What's going on? That was a nice win. Yeah, man. I mean, shocking. You know, Jason shocking. and I talked about this the last couple of days. Uh-huh. The last couple of times we've looked at the starting lineup, we're like, oh. I mean, you, you know you what? You, no, co- you coached them up. No Bradley Beal, no Thomas Bryant, no Rui Hachimura, who has like the longest injury ever for somebody just hitting his balls. Um, <laughs> I mean, seriously, what happened yeah, to Rui? Have... Can you tell us exactly what happened with Rui? <laughs> We have a lot of injuries, a lot of injuries. Really, well, he's getting better. He's getting better. It's still, he's still out. Did he have uh, a rupture? What? Like, what happened? He just had, he's, he's sore in that area. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get into it. I get it. Um, I just want yeah, to say. You know, that... the, bottom line, the bottom line is we have a lot of injuries. It's not some things that you just can't right. you know, prepare for and. But our guys are coming in. Our two our two hardship injury guys, uh, Jonathan <laughs> and Peyton, uh, is um, you know they start. Right. So it's like it's incredible that the year is going this way. But I love our energy. I love our effort. We're just about in every game, and and guys are going to start coming back. Brad is you know hopefully maybe tomorrow. Thomas Bryant maybe uh, next week. Right. Uh, the Voss Bertons uh, maybe next week. So that's all good, positive things. And if we keep playing as hard as we're playing, you know, we're going to get some more of these wins. They're close losses for us. I, I don't understand how – I mean, this is, I guess this is just the NBA, but you guys don't have Bradley, who's an all-star. You don't have Bertons. You don't have Bryant. You don't have Rui. Who am I missing? Um, John Wall. John Wall. Well, of course, John Wall. You haven't had him all year. But you, there was four or five guys that you – oh, Wagner – Mo Wagner, you don't have him. How no. do you how do you beat the second best team in the East? CJ CJ Miles, we don't have him. CJ Miles, that's, <laughs> that's six guys. I think we have seven guys out right now. Well, that's the thing. Any you know they always say any given night, yeah. Uh, any, any given day in football, you just all it's all the same. If you just got to go out there and compete, and we made shots. I mean, Jan was on fire. Garrison Matthews, our two-way player, came in and lit it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he's talented. Jordan, that, that, know, he that, our, that's our, maybe the thing we're underselling is that guys like Garrison Matthews and Jordan McRae, they're talented. I saw Garrison Matthews play when he was at Lipscomb. I was watching Atlantic Sun. I think they were in the conference championship. But he was draining threes yeah. left and right. He was awesome. But I had no idea that you know you guys had access to him. I had no idea he could play in the league. Yeah, he's a he's a scorer. He's he can shoot the ball. He plays hard. I mean, he needs experience. That's what he's getting with our go go, and he's got opportunities now because of our injuries. But he's making the best of them, and I know I can put him in there. He's going to do two things. He's going to get shots up, and he's going to play hard. And that's what he's done, and that's what he did last night. Yeah, I've seen him. He's scrappy. He goes for offensive rebounds, slaps him out. Does yeah. I mean he's a, he's a hard worker. Hey, I wanted to ask you something. So. Well, we moved you because the news that the Redskins hired Ron Rivera was breaking. Um, I kind of wanted to get your take on. <laughs> well, I wanted to get your take on when you were hired. Whether you've been hired twice, were you wined and dined? Like, how did it go down when you've been hired and wooed by NBA teams? Well, the first time it was in Oklahoma. It was just I took over in the middle of the season. I think uh, with like seventy games left. Right, and we started off three and twenty-nine. It wasn't the best of starts, but <laughs> three and twenty-nine. We had a good young team developing, and we were getting better, and we finished up the year strong. And then the last couple of games of the season, uh, they didn't whine and dine me. They just said, "Hey, we're going to sign you to an extension." I said, "Great, where do I sign?" And then the job here, um, they came. Uh, Ernie and Tommy Shepard came out to California, and we. We met probably, I think it's close to eight hours, and we talked, and we discussed things, and and I I had a few other opportunities, and I thought this was the best one. I'm glad I made the decision. I uh, love it here, and we've got a great opportunity, but that's some – I was never wine and dine, and I was just I, – I don't so think Ted I need wasn't that. In I on the, wanted to know what was going on. Ted wasn't in on the interviews. Uh, I talked to him on, on the telephone, yes. Okay. Spoke gotcha. to him on the telephone for, I don't know, uh, 30 minutes or so. Um, but I knew all about the program. I knew about him, about the ownership group. So it was, it was all positive uh, things for me. It was an easy decision for me. Mm-hmm. Well, so, how about, by the way, how about Yam Mahimi getting after it last night with 25? 10 for 11 from the floor, 25 points. I think he knocked down a couple threes. And, yeah. and, a, yeah, and a corner three. And, yeah, he's, I mean, he's played. You know, unfortunately, Yam has been hurt. Uh, for most of the time here, and but now 
he's been like the last 10 or 12 games, he's been healthy, been playing well. And last night was obviously if he doesn't play like that, we don't win. But he played well on both ends of the floor. Yeah. Talking to Coach Scott Brooks from the Wizards. Wizards beat the Heat 123 to 105 last night. You know, talking about your team, it's a young team. Um, what has surprised you to this point from your team? Like, has anybody really, like, you didn't expect to get as much production from? What do you see in this team? Well, uh, a couple of guys. I didn't know much about uh, Mo and Isak Bonga, the mm-hmm. trade from the Lakers. I thought that that's been a great pick up unfortunately Mo he's been out with a high ankle sprain he's probably going to be out for I don't know maybe a couple more weeks um Bertans I didn't know I mean, I knew he was a great shooter I didn't know he was a complete basketball player so that was right. another good pickup for us in the summer and obviously drafting Rui was a, I didn't think he would come in and you know, I thought I was hoping that you know if we can get 10 points and you know six or seven rebounds and you know he's averaging 14 he really was starting to play really well and that's a great pickup. So I think we have a lot of good things going forward. Um, yeah, it, we just got to keep developing, keep working, and you know, eventually we're all going to become whole again and healthy, and we're going to be able to complete compete at a higher level. All well, right, Coach, man, have a happy New Year. Uh, enjoy Thank the you. evening, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Talk to you next week, Appreciate man. Appreciate it, guys. See all you, right, bye. thanks. 